Hello and welcome back to a redone spirit phone tier list and yes I already have everything in place and I changed a lot of stuff around from last time but I'm just going to be explaining why I placed some stuff where I did and also maybe giving some cringy uh, impressions of the songs along the way. Um, so the first one is Cabinet Man Demo. It used to be down here in D tier since I've listened to all the bonus tracks now. But I realized it's just an okay uh, demo. It's nowhere near Cabinet Man, but it's it's still okay. Um, it's just a, a decent Cabinet Man instrumental. Um, Gravitron is also, again, just like a decent, just again, the gra one of the Gravity Falls intros uh, that Neil was, um, you know, making at the time. And, you know, it's okay. Moon's Request is actually good, but it's not amazing, like A tier. It, it's still good though, and I really like how he remixed the original song. He really changed it a lot, and uh, you know the glitchy part at the end is really cool, and just the whole song being kind of glitched out, I really like. Um, next is Pizza Heroes, and uh, this is actually a way better song than I was giving credit for, even though it's very very short. Uh, it's still really really good. I, I really love the way he pronounces everything in this song. He, he makes it super over exaggerated uh, Over some such a like a simple thing of just delivering pizzas all over the, around the world And it was for uh, I'm pretty sure it was just a made-up show that his, uh, his, his Sister came up with I think so uh, yeah, that's nice as well But uh, you know the over exaggerated we always deliver like stuff like that. I really like Cat Hacks is just a good instrumental. Uh, it's just very, very punchy. I really love it. Uh, it's, it's very, very good. Kubrick, Kubrick and the Beast is uh, also just a really funky and good instrumental. Uh, not a whole lot to say about that either. I just really like all the instrumentals on, on the bonus track side. And then Geo Cities is kind of has a weird nostalgic feeling to me. It's also a bop, uh, uh, but it also has this weird nostalgic feeling to me, which is why I put it up here. But Angel Fire, I think, is still the best instrumental just because of how it pans from left to right ear and just how decently long this instrumental is compared to the, uh, the other ones. I mean, Cat Hacks is decently long, but Angel Fire is the longest one, and I really think it deserves to be that long because it is a really good instrumental. Sweet Bud Demo, honestly, it's going below Angel Fire. Like, it's it's a good demo, and again, it's, like, really, really funky, and it doesn't, but it's not, like, Sweet Bud funky. It's, like, a different kind of funky because it has, like, synths and stuff instead of, you know, cowbells and guitars. Uh, but I, I still really like this rendition, but I, I think I gave it a little bit too much credit last time. And uh, off the main tracks, my least favorite one is probably going to be When He Died. It used to be No Eyed Girl, but it's probably going to be When He Died now. I don't know. The drums don't really do it a whole lot for me, but I do like the guitars. And just, again, like the vocals are insane on this track. When He really performs and like really shines and, uh, you know, his vocal range, it, it's, it's insane. It's amazing. And No Eyed Girl I really like as well. Um, however, I feel like just the kick and just uh, uh, some stuff is missing. I get that it's supposed to be, you know, fully Neil and stuff like that, but just basically only Neil's vocals. But still, I feel like there's maybe two more, one more instrument that could have been added to make this a little bit better, but it's still a really good track. I mean, it's A tier, so it's still really, really good. I actually put man-made object in the lowest here now because I've gotten used to it. I've actually, it used to be my least favorite main spirit phone track. Now it's just my third least favorite. It's still not, a, it's still not like super good in my eyes, like all the rest of these main tracks, but it's still really, really good. And uh, the spacey feel to it, I, I just didn't even notice that first. But now that I listen to the song so many times over, I realized this is very, very good and like very, very spacey and atmospheric. Really love it. Like a bunch of the outros, but it's basically a bunch of the outros, but condensed into one song, which I really like. Angry People is um, still going to be a, is going to be S tier now. Pretty sure I put this A tier last time. And uh, yeah, it's just a good, fast paced techno song. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it's just really, really good. And I'm not going to be like, talking about a lot of these songs too long keep that in mind because i already made a video about this and explained why i liked them before but this one's just different placements 
Um, next one is redesign your logo. I still don't think it's one of the best tracks on Spirit Phone, but it still is a very good track. Uh, just the corporate kind of feel to the song is very, very just chilling and just uh, like you just get uneasy, like just listening to it and listening to the lyrics and uh, you just become super uneasy. And I really like that about this track. Reaganomics is a good a good main spirit phone track but again it doesn't really compare to a lot of my top tiers but it's still very very good it's i think it's still better than the uh, 2012 demo which is what a lot of people have heard and actually prefer i prefer this one still um and yeah it's just a very very good like rock song it's it's pretty chaotic at the end but I, that's again that's what i really love about spirit phone how chaotic it is um yeah I, I really like that crisis actors is still uh i actually no, no i'll put it a little bit below reaganomics just because i've listened to crisis actors uh, not a whole lot that much anymore i don't listen to it a lot like i used to it's very very good but honestly i still think reaganomics is a little bit better but crisis actors is still really good uh you know that wobbly intro and then the guitar solo is really really good and uh, the ending is also really good as well eighth wonder honestly ooh, i I think this is underrating it because i've listened to the song so many times and only in like the last 10 or 20 listens because i've listened to these songs so much um and like I only recently have I noticed a bunch of instruments I didn't even notice before, like the electric guitar, the very decently quiet electric guitar going off on the right ear, and the uh, kind of beeping sound that helps with the, uh, the you know, the rhythm and the uh, tempo of the song and just keeps a good rhythm uh, on the left ear. I, I didn't even notice that originally. So honestly, just because of just it being an amazing song, like, just really really good i'm honestly gonna have to put it above cabinet man yeah i'm putting it above cabinet man ancient aliens i still think is an s tier very good song but not enough to get to my top spot but still an amazing song um uh, I, again, I really love the sense and, uh, you know, just the concept of, you know, an, a caveman not being, uh, you know, well equipped enough to help aliens out, which I'm pretty sure is what the song is about. Um, or, you know, you know, I, I can't help uh, aliens out or can't do anything because, you know, he's a caveman. I really like that. I, in fact, I like all of Neil's like concepts and like uh, is all of, all of, all of his ideas are super creative. So for these songs and just really really good. Um, in fact, that he just finds random stuff and he fit this all onto one app, and one cohesive album that felt like one. Moment when a lot of these were just random singles or uh, a decent amount of these were the random singles for example eighth wonder was like a song that was released in 2009 same with redesign your logo same with um like a lot of the demos of these songs the fact that he came together and made this all transition into one one after another very very well honestly is something i can commend it's very 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 cool uh, next is Sweet Bod, an S tier, uh, not quite SSS tier, but very good. Uh, this is what I'm going to be saying for all the songs, because uh, again, I don't have a whole lot to add that I didn't add last time. It's just really, really funky, uh, which I really like. It's kind of creepy, which I also really like. Uh, just the cowbells and stuff, really, really just punch really hard and the chorus is really good and very chaotic but fits the lyrics super well cabinet man um is is the bottom of my favorites tier uh just because i've listened to all these songs and i've actually liked them better than cabinet man but cabinet man is still good the eight bit kind of synths that the uh the entire song has is really really cool i actually didn't give enough appreciation to the reverse drum part the bridge uh right before the, like the calm part sorry that was one of my friends playing a game on steam <laughs> but uh yeah uh, again, very good song, very chaotic outro, like a lot of these songs, which I really like. 
Uh, actually, not a lot of songs have super chaotic outros, but this is one of the songs that does. Next is Soft Fuzzy Man, since I already talked about Eighth Wonder. Um, again, super chaotic song, but it works in its favor, and it's very, very good. Uh, just everything from like the left to right, constant left to right panning, just that over and over and over again. It, it, it makes for a really just chaotic and really good song. The bass line's insane. It really is catchy. All these songs are super catchy. You get your ba the bass lines and the guitar riffs stuck in your head for like two days. <laughs> they don't go away. And same with the vocals as well. The, the, the lyrics, they don't leave your head. Um, which I really, really like. Next is Lifetime Achievement Award. I underappreciated the hell out of this song. I, I, I put in an A tier last time, I'm pretty sure. I, holy shit. Why? Why did I not like this song a whole lot? This is an amazing start to the album. I give, I gave, again, I underappreciated this way too much. The robot voice is insane. I really love that robot voice and the, and the chorus and the you are bed are you dead you are dead and buried you are dead i really like that um that you know that chorus part um and then the over exaggerated oh no uh, i i really like that as well just the again the whole song is like super just if he just brings it to life all these songs he, the vocal performance just brings it to life without these vocal performances and without him spicing it up with his insane vocal range and just being very very good and talented musician a lot of these songs would not be as good as they are uh, especially with his vocal performances if there was no vocals at all um, a lot of these were, won't, won't be as high as they are, but they are because, again, the vocal range is insane on all of these songs. They're really, really good. Spiral Vance, it, it's fitting to go right next to Lifetime Achievement Award. I put it, I'm pretty sure, at, like over here before. It's very good, like amazing. The best closer to a Lemon Demon album, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's very calm, at least until the beginning like the the jump scare at the beginning but rather than that super calm song i think it's a really good way to end off the album especially after uh, uh you know after ending it off with man-made object and then ending it off with a other calm song is, is a very very good addition and uh again very good touchstone telephone is going here it's still in the same spot it was last time i still find it super good one of the best on the album one of the best on the album, but not enough to be as your father I explicitly forbid it. It's still one of my favorites, and uh, it, it remains one of my favorites. Again, a lot of people are going to get upset. I don't care that a lot of people are going to get, because it's my opinion, but uh, a lot of people are going to get mad. Oh, why'd you put as your father I explicitly forbid it all the way up there? Because I like it, and it's super chaotic at the beginning. It's, it kind of sounds like a boss battle theme at the beginning and for the entire song actually just the angry tone of the uh, you know the uh, neil playing like a father figure is re really really good and the the sense at the end i'm repeating a lot of the stuff from last time but it's just because a lot of this stuff is on the same spot it was last time except for a few switch arounds uh and then iron my life is still up here still my second favorite song and that's because my first favorite is actually You're at the Party. I placed this at the bottom of, of uh, my favorites tier before. Now it's the top because this is his best song, in my opinion. This is his best song. It's a bonus track, but I think it deserves to be a bonus track because it doesn't really fit the rest of the album. That's why it's a bonus track, I bet. And he also didn't finish it to his liking a whole lot. But the best song that has been released by Neil in my opinion it's just just the beginning the spacey feel uh, and then transitions perfectly into the actual song just the lyrics everything the vocal range and just his vocal performance is one of the best on this song specifically the guitar riffs the chorus is really really catchy it gets stuck in my head every two seconds okay maybe not that often but it gets stuck in my head a lot and just 
the entire song is so good how long it is i really love how long it is because you know I, I don't like super short songs i just end abruptly this doesn't end abruptly it's super long and i really love that and uh again just like the existential you're at, you're at a party in the afterlife is really really cool to me and uh i i really love again all the concepts on these lemon demon songs i really love all of them are very very good but uh yeah that's it i again i i know i repeated myself a whole lot but again that's just because a lot of these are in the same ranking as last time just put a little bit higher uh and like a different like letter or just some switch arounds like for example lifetime achievement award and you're at the party but still like i repeated myself a lot because a, there wasn't a whole lot to say <laughs> Rather than I just really love this entire album. Easily my top three favorite albums. And I've li I'm listening to more albums now from separate uh, from different artists and Lemon Demon as well. I've listened to all the Lemon Demon albums. Haven't gotten all the way through. Um, I Actually, I'll admit it. I didn't get all the way through. Um, what is it called? Live at the Haunted Candle Shop. But I still like ranked it in Lemon Demon album because I got the gist of it, and I didn't. I only didn't listen to like one or two songs, which isn't that big of a deal in my opinion. But yeah, that is it, and um, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.